Hi, everybody. City Councilman Manny Pelias here. I am your City Councilman for District 8, and I am joined by Dr. Samantha Gomez. She's the Associate uh, Medical Director for the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center. Welcome, Dr. Gomez. Hi. I'm glad you're here. I want everybody to know that um, the Blood and uh, Tissue Center is that beautiful white building on I-10 uh, with a big heart out front, and everybody always wonders what is going on out there? And uh, Dr. Gomez, now's your chance. What is going on out there? What happens in this secret building? So we do a lot of different things at BioBridge Global. Um, a big part of what we do for the community is collecting blood and blood products for distribution to our local hospitals. We also collect tissue and core blood as well. And we also test donor blood. I heard that you are experiencing a shortage of blood. And uh, number one, how does that happen? And number two, what can we do to help you? Yeah, so it's been a really interesting um, time during this COVID pandemic for everybody, including the blood supply. It's really changed the way that we collect blood. And, and unfortunately, blood does have a shelf life. It only lasts for 42 days. So we need a constant, um, pool of donors to come in through the door to be able to supply our local community because 42 days is not a long time in the scheme of things. And we're still seeing a high demand of blood for in the local hospitals. So it's been this um, high demand, low supply type of issue that's led to shortages. So I've got a very large contingency of, of big hearted and compassionate neighbors uh, who are here to help you replenish. And they're going to ask, well, am I qualified? And um, so, you know, I've always been confused as to whether or not I qualify and what, you know, when it is okay to give blood and when it's not okay to give blood. So teach us, Doc, when, who is eligible to give blood? So donors over the age of 17 can donate blood. We don't have an upper limit on blood donation. Donors who are 16 years of age can donate with the parental consent. And then in general, people who feel well and healthy and have been cleared by their physician are able to donate. And so I would say that if someone is out there and they have questions about, well, I'm on this medication, I have this health condition, just reach out and ask us. We have a team of nurses here who that's all they do all day is answer questions regarding eligibility. What if um, somebody in my house has had COVID? Does that um, disqualify me? That is a great question. Um, so we just want to make sure that our donors are um, safe and as well as our staff. So if the person is under quarantine because of a close contact, then that person cannot donate until they are out of quarantine. Okay. So they and so are, are those the only... Uh, well, I, I mean, I, I imagine you guys are taking other precautions when people go in and give blood, right? So I've been to blood drives where you guys just stack the chairs, uh, you know, in big lines and it's tight in there because we, we want to get as many people as possible to roll up their sleeves. But uh, times are different. How, how, are you, how have you changed your operations when it comes to um, blood donation so we've changed a number of things to ensure the safety of donors and our staff. And that includes, um, so used to, you could just walk in the front door and donate blood. And now you have to have an appointment because we want to make sure that we can ensure social distancing. So that one thing is huge, um, appointments. The second thing is when you walk through our door, we do ask you a number of questions regarding um, symptoms. We also take your temperature. We did the same thing with all of the staff. And then we've done a lot of extra measures, which we have on our website, southtexasblood.org, on what we've done to help protect our community. You guys have been working with, with plasma, uh, that uh, convalescent plasma. I don't know what it means. What does it mean? And, and what uh, should my, my, uh, my constituents who've been through COVID know about the, the blood and tissue center? Yeah, so whenever someone is sick with a virus, their body has to fight that virus, right? And so part of that is the development of antibodies. So these antibodies are really special because they can help someone who's currently fighting the infection, help fight them even harder and get them through that illness. And so what we're doing with convalescent plasma is people who have recovered from COVID have these special antibodies and they can donate their plasma. And that plasma then can be transfused to patients in the ICU or who are fighting for their lives in the hospitals from COVID. 
And so I would just um, tell donors, if you're out there and if you've recovered from um, COVID, please reach out to us because there is a need in our community for convalescent plasma. Folks, you heard it here. There is a need in our community. When my San Antonio neighbors hear the words, there is a need in my community, they step up. And this is the time to step up, roll your sleeves up and lend a hand. Um, the Blood and Tissue Center is a worldwide recognized success um, because there are so many San Antonians up there who understand that this town steps up when that call is heard. Doctor, thank you so much for what you do. And thank you so much for joining us today. I know that you got a, a world to go save and uh, an inventory to go replenish. Um, have a beautiful holiday season and be safe. Thank you.